and we're live. Well, so we're, you know, we were talking about cartoons and such, and just to keep the, the note a lighter note, if you could bring back a television show that you loved in your childhood, what show would you bring back? And it can only be one show. Do I That's have a brilliant to be a question. child? Because I really want Firefly. It's easy for me. There's no other show I'd rather have. I want Firefly back. Okay. Is that what it was? I, uh, it's what it's called, I right? Cap- Serenity? It's, uh, yeah, it was called Firefly. The movie was Serenity. Yeah. Oh. Um, right. I liked Captain Planet as a kid, but because we didn't have the channel that it came on, like, <laughs> I would, like, catch it, like, and I didn't know when it came on. Like, as a kid, nobody ever sat me down and was like, hey, your favorite TV show comes at the same time every week. So I would just catch the, catch them sporadically. I would I would always get up for Saturday morning cartoons, but if I missed it, I would just miss it. And back in the day, you missed an episode, you missed the whole thing. You know, you'd never catch up again. I, oh, but yeah. I, I remember never being able to satiate my uh, my love for Captain Planet. I guess that could come back, right? Okay. That's a good one. Uh, I think if you go back and watch that show, you're going to regret that choice. <laughs> I think <laughs> do. There's a villain because... who's really a rat who just pollutes. Yeah, it's a bad show. Like it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. They, they, like all the like, yeah, bad guys in that show. They, they never had like realistic bad guys where it was like, oh, this is Doctor Evil Doctor Johnson. He, yeah, he owns this big plant, and we have to stop him because he's making too many things to sell to the evil Chinese or whatever. It was always just like, oh, that's sludge sammy he just gets a real rise out of fucking up trees and brush and and yeah. swamps just for the sake of it and just him dumping sewage for yeah. no reason like it wasn't very compelling i didn't I, like that show i would say seinfeld for me i'd like to bring seinfeld back for a I few more a seasons cartoon. oh a cartoon fuck i thought it was just a show no he did just say show oh, just was... saying any chi- yeah, childhood show that you loved oh, yeah seinfeld was a childhood me. show for me i guess okay, yeah. okay. hang on I'll, I'll reevaluate i'm, I'm okay. thinking of some cards Okay, all right. Damn, what's yours? Well, while, while you're thinking, uh, for me, it would be Good Times. Good and times. And let, let me tell you why I choose Good Times. It's funny because the way they, they have, quote, unquote, black television today, it's everybody's successful. Everybody done made it. That's not reality. I loved Good Times back in the days because whether you were a black family that actually you were living rather well, you, you were able to come up out of the projects if that was your living situation, it still showcased that that tough upbringing that I'm not going to take shit from my kids. I'm going to make you work twice as hard as the next person so you can have a better outcome than what it is that I had to bring you up in. I would love to see that type of show today. And I don't. So I, and I bring good times. What about? I would like to see Married with Children. Ooh, I, I always liked Married one. with Children. That's good. Uh, that's it, good. it came on like late as hell. Um, I don't remember. I was maybe like 12 or 13, I guess, watching it. And I remember it would come on at like 11 p.m., which was late for me. And uh, and I loved that show. What I'm trying to think of, like, mm. I can't tell if bringing this back now and giving the show a little bit more of a risque, like, to go a little further edge would be good, or if it's just the fact that I haven't seen the show since I was young that I like it so much. But to get bring back Family Matters and have, like, a pretty, like, maybe walk in walking an edge of risky humor Urkel, that would be really funny to watch. But now, oh, but he's not Urkel yeah, anymore. Right. If you've seen that guy recently, or not recently, maybe like five years ago, now he looks just like a normal dude. Stefan? Who's, like, who's pretty mm-hmm. big. Like, he's a pretty big guy who does not look nerdy and funny anymore. Maybe well, that's remember, yeah. remember, he would turn into Stefan in the show, and he'd be the cool, good-looking yeah. version of him. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I like that, that could show. could dance and everything else, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he could do everything. He was he was the he was the basketball. antithesis of Virgil. Yeah, everything. Uh, I, I like that show met, a lot. Or not how I met your mother. Married with children. That's a great one. I wouldn't have thought of that. Uh-huh. What's yeah. happening would be fun. It's probably before you guys. Do you remember what's happening? Oh, I love what's happening. I just bro. want to see that dude dance some more. Like like the, if he has, there was one character rerun, re-run and uh, he was a black guy and he was fat and. Yes. Um, you would look at him and think that he, he couldn't move. And then it seemed like every episode, for one reason or another, they'd find a reason to make this guy dance. <laughs> and he was curiously good at dancing. It was good. Yeah. He was damn good. Yeah. Bro. I had a friend in high school who could do the rerun dances, like with the big kicks and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he wore this like Scottish golfer's hat with a little puff mm-hmm. ball in the top center. And uh, and he would just dance and do his moves and shit. And childhood me would just watch that show, hoping that he would start dancing soon. I think there was yeah. a fight scene at one point, 
And uh, every, like there was one guy who was really nerdy, like Urkel before his day, a uh, lanky guy. And uh, then it just turned out Rerun was curiously good at fighting. All of a sudden, he was like bebopping people. <laughs> and, and he protected everybody. The, the thing I remember most from Family Matters was at one point, Urkel, like he had a crush on this. I haven't seen it in so long, but this, this girl on the show had just huge tits. Myra. Like, Myra. Myra. And I remember I would watch that show. I was like maybe nine or ten and just like spent entire episodes just like waiting for Myra to come on and just be like, oh, man. Oh, God, this show's the best. You got <laughs> Urkel popping up and then this chick stands around like this is ten year old heaven. Like because at the time, like you didn't have Internet yeah, or you porn. Know, you know, another show that I loved, Punky Brewster, bro. There's Punky, another big tit huh? show. Yeah. I, I enjoy Punky Brewster. I don't I don't even know why. I just love it. Didn't. I think I might know why. <laughs> yeah, I think I know why a lot of people like Punky <laughs> so, they, they cast this, like, cute little 11-year-old or something. I don't know. And then as the, during the show's tenure, she hits puberty. And oh, my God. Like, I, I, this is going off my childhood memory. But this little ship carried a lot of sail. And it was yeah. like, it, 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 sure, puberty just hooked her up. She, like, I don't know. If she were an RPG character, she just loaded up on puberty points. Meanwhile, yeah. I put okay, mine so somewhere else. I don't know. What's the name of that show? Punky Bu Brewster. Oh, Punky Brewster. We're, we're hooking God. Kyle up right now. Damn. I'm. Yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I just Googled Punky Brewster tits. <laughs> Oh my god, we're looking at the same Holy thing. shit! We're looking at the same Oh wow. Thing. No, no, all right. So for the viewing audience, you should also Google Punky Brewster tits. She didn't just grow into she didn't just become a woman. Like she grew some massive, freakishly big titties. Holy shit. Wow, that show became poor. I, where, where can I find reruns of this? Now that is a show I want remastered in, in 4K. Oh, that's good. that's pretty interesting. Like if you go on the uh there are a few subreddits on the internet that, that you can go on. And everybody's really fascinated with this new trend of <clears throat> remastering old TV shows because you can see, like, lots of nipples and camel toes and, like, stuff that, that, that normally wouldn't have even been in, within the old aspect ratio. So, like, going back on the old Star Trek episodes, like, even from the 60s, <clears throat> they're a little bit adult. Um, this is, wow. Kyle, do, do you need some time alone? <laughs> I just, <laughs> minutes. I, I need to look through some archive footage. I, she's wearing this body glove suit. Wow. Look at that. You can tell that they're just out of control when, like, a body glove suit like that, normal-sized yeah, yeah. boobs would look almost like they have a man chest because it's meant to compress really hard. That, that means that those are – you take that body suit off, and it explodes like that the foam you use to insulate your home. Like, just <laughs> – <laughs> 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 Taylor yeah, now, froze in that position. Quick shout out to everybody that is now uh, Googling Punky Brewster's tits on Google and uh, sharing along with all of our madness. <laughs> there it is. There'll be a great screenshot there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure all the parents will hate us for that one. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just to let you know. Kyle, you okay over to me? Yeah, your eyes I'm have watching, gone, like... I've moved on to some video footage. I'm, I'm looking into this now. I'm... I'm afraid I'm sure. Yeah, if you can't really Google tits and not see something, you can't share. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, some of these are not for the general audience. But I showed them the Prunky Brewster boobs. They're they're ginormous. One of them, I'm not even sure. Like, was that her? Was that Photoshop? Because there was one in particular. Hey, bro. Dude, each. I think those are official, bro. That's just. Is... But the one, each one was the size of a person. Like, they're. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm thinking. I don't know. Yeah. Dan's like, I really like that show. I, I can't really put my finger on why. <laughs> Look, when I was trying to go into a smooth. You, <laughs> you can put two hands on why, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to play it off smooth, but you, you know, you took it there. Sorry. Yeah, that, was, that, that was very impressive.